Greetings everyone, Lily Farm Guy here with the new mod test for Wednesday, July the 27th. And this ooh, is another massive pack. Um, and this one is Selectable Bale Capacity Pack by GH66 Mods. And incredibly, it's only 0.19 megabytes. So virtually no pain <laughs> to have this downloaded. And as for slots, well, what what we have here is a modded versions of um, the base game equipment. So whatever the base game equipment piece is, it's going to be very close, if not exactly the same slot count. Now, um, where do we start? Well, basically we can start with the balers, because this is what... Um, this is where they're going to be. And I have a few that don't worry about that one. No. So here it's... That's liftable bale. Sorry. Selectable bale capacity pack mod. That's the one we're looking at. And it starts with the bio baler. And as you can see down at the bottom... Uh, we have 125 to 134, which is a little bit of an odd size. Same with, same with the other uh, balers and uh, this one. Yes, and then we have the, so these are the round balers. This is a round baler. Up to 134, and this one is a bale wrap up to 154 <laughs> uh, so you're going to see some odd sizes and we'll explain that in a moment so and then we have the square balers and then along with this pack the easiest way to show it is going into the selectable bale capacity pack at monza dlcs and here we have the bale loading uh equipment we have the balers and then we have bale wrappers now Let's uh, let's first go over here. Oh, let's, there we go over here. So this is the bio baler. Now the all these balers work identical to the base game ones, except for one thing. And if we jump in here, there we go. Let's uh, let's get out of the uh, the bushes here for a moment. And take a look at our menu. Um, so everything's the same until we get to the R1 and then R3 bought at the bottom. Change bale size. I have it at set one at 134. Now if we go down uh, 120. Okay, so the bio balers are different than the other balers. In the respect that you get the 125, 132, and 133, 134. So this uh, 125 is a, is, a, is a standard 125 bale, and it will make the standard size bale, which I do believe is over here, because I made a couple of them, and that 2,000 liters, yes, so we have two 2,000 liter bales. And then what this one is, this is 8,000 liters, so that doing the calculation is four times larger and how you do that is when you go into your selectable change bale size it will go up to 32 33 34 so the 134 the four in the the last digit of that number there the four indicates it's four times the size and apparently that's how they worked it to indicate the different sizes so what it is actually is you get uh two times three times and four times so again let's look at that so if we go 125 that's the standard bale size that uh that the normal one will too and you can do that and you can use the standard bale size and make the standard bale sizes and all the different auto loading and bale picking upping thingies <laughs> auto load bale loaders will work with them however 
If you go to the 132, that's double the size. So you're going to produce 4,000 liter bales. And then you'll, we're going to produce 6,000 liter bales with the 133. And then the 8,000 liter bales with the 134. Any of those three will no longer be picked up by regular bale auto loading wagons. You are going to need the auto load wagon specially made with this pack which we've seen at the beginning there and those will pick up these 8,000 liter bales that um, that you will be making now I'm not going to show every baler doing uh, making bales but this one I have uh, what did we say? Yes, we have it set at the 134 or the 8,000 liter bale. And as we go forward, unfortunately, the worker will not operate this. So we're going to be making a very big mess of it operating. But as you can see, we've uh, already nearly surpassed the 2,000 liters. 2,000 liters. And, and we are going beyond that. So, in essence, uh, the, this has quadrupled the uh, bale capacity on your map. So, instead of 200, you got 800 bales. You can, well, the equivalent to 800 bales, you're still making only 200 bales, but now they're four times larger. <laughs> so, all right. Um, While we're here, we're going to show you something. No, it's a little bit scatterbrained, but um, um, because I'm here, the loading and unloading is basically the same. However, they will only pick up. Let's uh, lower this because I've been testing a little bit, and there's a couple of things you should know. First thing is, it'll only pick up one type size of bale at a time, which is very common for not, I think there's only one bale auto loading bale wagon that will take more than one size. Now, of course, if you're loading them manually, you can put any size you want. But if you're using one of these auto loading bale wagons, there it is, loading that, very good. Now, if we go up to these standard size bales here, it's going to say only one bale size at a time, right? So because I have the big ones on there, it won't it won't load the smaller ones. That's pretty standard kind of thing that happens. Um, I just wanted to mention that. All right, let's go into the field, and I do believe this. Yes. So this is the baby baler. Uh, it also makes 124. Uh, uh, yes, 120 is 120 is the standard bale size as we have it here. I uh, don't not that one. There we go. 500 liters, right? 500 liter bales. You can pick them up. Um, they're light. That's the standard bale size and weight that the um, the, that many baler makes. Now I made one that is four times, which is actually, well, as you can see, 2,000 liters. Oh, one other thing, the weight does not change. As you can see here, it's still 81 kilograms. I can pick it up. So the baby bales, you can make 2,000 liter size bales and still pick them up. Right? Ha <laughs> ha. Same with this, 2,000 liters, no problem. 2,000 liters, yeah, no problem. Right, okay, so, and uh, we turn that on. So you can see there, it's pumping, pumping, 2,000 liters. There it is. And so it's not spitting them out like chiclets. If you had them, if I was doing this, oh, well, now it is because I've set it to a, to a smaller size. Yeah, there you go. See, the 120, 24. And there we go. Now it's do 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 do. Right? Okay. Good. 
Uh, moving on to the bale wrapping ones. Yes, so these ones, um, the silage bales, 14,000 liters or 3,500 liters. Same thing, 120, oh, let's start up, 125, 132, 33, 34, and so. So 125 is your standard size, and then you go 2, 3, and 4. So 134 would be your four times the size, and as you can see, as we're, I do believe I had it set at 134. Yeah. As you can see, it's taking it much longer to fill and make a bale. There we go, 14,000 liters. Right, okay. Uh, next is... Yes. So here we have... much more choice now let's go through here 125 is the standard bale size right so then we go to 150 and 180 so those are the three standard actually three standard sizes you can make now we go to 132 so that's double the 132 size double the 152 size double the 182 size and we go to three 133 times 3, 153 times 3, 183, so the 180 times 3, the 130 times 4, 150 times 4, 180 times 4, the, the, the top left R3, that's what I'm changing, the bit change bale size. Yes, and so here we go with the largest bale size times 4, and as you can see, uh, it is quite a large bale as a matter of fact um i like i pretty much pretty sure this is going to be yeah this 20 i think it's thirty thousand liters where we're going to end up uh yes and so as you can see we're approaching thirty thousand liters now imagine There we go, 30,000 liter pail. Oh dear. Right, so, <laughs> as opposed to the 5,500 liter bale that you usually have, so imagine 200 of these, that's a whole lot more bales than, um, than uh, you could have before. Now, the one last one is uh, the square, the large square baler, this is the New Holland one. Uh, as you can see, R1, we got the 180, 220, or 240, and then you go to 182. So double the 180, double the 220, and double the 240. And that goes all the way up to the largest is 244, which I do believe I had it uh, queued up for here. And as we go forward, I do believe the uh, bale size is going to hit 27,000, I believe, is the six, yeah, I think that's that's what it is. Uh, oh. Let's run over here. I had a bale over here. <laughs> there we go. So... <laughs> Here we go. Yes, 26,000 liters and 26,000 liters, which is considerably more than uh, than the others. And, of course, so... Uh, the bale loading, uh, only one size at a time, so if you're making them all this size, then it's all good. There we go. No problems. Right. Okay, so... What alternatives do we have aside from um, with aside from auto loading wagons? Here comes the special parts. So <laughs> um, there is one auto load um, 
third, I'd say modded auto load wagon, not part of this pack, that works. And that is this. And this is the Lizard Logistics TLX Flatbed X2. And that, my friends, is part of the TLX Phoenix pack with um, the auto load flatbed, the auto load, um, this one, which includes auto load bail, auto load. And so I will show you, it comes with a trailer too. The trailer is under trailers. If we go look under trailers real quick, I know this is getting long. But there's a lot going on here. Tealet's pup trailer frame. So if you don't want to use the truck itself, you can use the frame with the trailer uh, attached. The way that works is it detaches. It is a pup. You drive it underneath. It attaches. And then it works just like an auto load trailer. Transporting position. Operating position. And voila. Oh, I think these are different size. Yes. Nope, that one isn't. Why didn't it pick up this one? Oh, it's probably a different size. Uh, 26,000 liters. Oh, these are probably the, the standard size. Yes. So the standard size. Okay, let's get those off. I want they come off. <laughs> oh, there we go. I have to have the, the top. Uh, activate. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's drive up to the... Uh... Now this will pick up some of the round bales, but not the modded round bales. But it will pick up the uh, extra large... Uh, let's get an operating position here. And as you can see here, we should be able to pick up... Yes, there it is the extra large bales and if it should pick it up out of there yes there we go we grabbed it so if you don't want to fool around with those you can use this one uh to also pick them up so there you have it um that should just about um contain all the different i uh, like i didn't try the uh and it didn't demonstrate the, the the stacker. There's a there's these wrappers. They're all they all pretty much works. They pretty much they all work exactly as the base game. Only that if you have the large, you're using the large, extra large sizes, and you want to wrap them. Um, you will have to use those. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's. Quite a lot to get go over in um, kind of a condensed kind of overview. So hopefully that uh, answers your questions and shows you what it can do. Essentially, it has quadrupled your ability to make uh, bales in, in the in the form of volume. Not necessarily how many bales, but making the bales four times hold four times more essentially has quadrupled your bale capacity. Uh, and there you have it. That's the selectable bale capacity pack by GH66 mods and only 0.19 megabytes to download. Just remember that if you're making the extra large bales, you will have to use one of these loading uh, wagons or the TLX pack. I will... Uh, I will put a link to those in the description if you want to go with that way. And um, I'm Louie Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.